Hello guys, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be talking about Blue Chew. I'm sure you've seen it, and I thought that I might go ahead and uh, talk about it myself. So somebody made a great video on it that I was watching the other day by Upper Echelon. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. <clears throat> Let's check this out. We're going to start right here. Enjoy basically just a repository of the ads they run all across the web. Some of these ads have millions of impressions. Some have tens of millions of impressions each individually, and there's hundreds of them. What do they show? Well, they show things like this. Hi there. Uh, <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with? <laughs> that, uh, yes, please. There's a lot you can help me with, but none of it involves work. Well, here, you're going to need your blue chew. I am not going to need my blue chew. Have you seen yourself? Honey, we're going literally all night. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. After watching even just a couple of these advertisements, it becomes abundantly clear that the target demographic is young men, obviously. But when I say young, I mean very, very young. Men in their early 20s should not need this product. And according to Blue Chew's own advertising, they kind of don't. See, Blue Chew is not advertising a medically necessary fix to an omnipresent problem. They are advertising a recreational activity. Why go for two hours when you can go for 12? Why do things naturally when you can use medication? And why wait if you can just get your first month for free right now and start amping up your performance immediately? Okay, so let me talk about this first part. <clears throat> So when it comes to this blue chew, you know, I never really looked into it. I just, I used to see the commercials all the time. You see them on X all the time. And I knew what they were for, but he explained it way more in depth. That there's more for recreational stuff, right? And I didn't even think about that this is really getting pushed to young men. So after watching this video, I've had some thoughts on it. Number one, as always, sex is always being sold to us men. At any moment, right? I said that, you know, it's always about, man, sex is supposed to be this. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to do it in this position and you're supposed to do it for this long. It's like I told y'all guys, sex is not what it used to be. Sex is more pleasurable than anything. The fact, you know, it's, 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 it's so dumbed down that they're showing a couple getting ready to have sex. That's supposed to represent a couple. I know it's acting, but still, it's like back then, I wouldn't even say back then. I'd say, I felt like, before we kind of had a little bit more constraint and then when sex started really popping up in the movies it started popping up in tv shows it, and then you had shows like martin which i know heavily emphasize uh emphasize sex a lot in that show right and it showed all the time that him gina and martin lawrence and even to the point where as you know when that whole thing fell apart it's because of martin lawrence always pushing for more and more sexual acts and that's why the whole show fell apart right and so being a young kid, when I first saw Martin doing all that kind of stuff, I saw it get worse and worse and worse to this point. And this is the bad thing when it comes to always teaching this stuff to young people. What we would have seen back in Martin, even though Martin really never showed anything like this, like to this degree, that would be considered great. But back then it wasn't. And now today we got people showing their breasts, right? We got people uh, stimulating sex. We're talking about, oh, we're going to get in an argument, but sex makes it better, better, right? I just don't understand what the concept of even being a couple, the concept of being in a relationship is anymore. Every time I watch it, every time I listen to it, I just see the same stuff. You know, they make the comedy bits and I understand it's company, but there is something to it is that when a couple gets in a super good, gets in an argument, sex is supposed to fix it. It's called angry sex. And that's supposed to make everything better. Like, and even if a woman is having trouble with her man, let's say he's the worst dude on the planet. The fact that he has a big penis is enough for it to resolve everything. It's just like, <laughs> that's just so dumb because we see so many bad things happen to people in the toxic relationships that can sometimes end with people going to jail or people losing their life. But we, they try to code it in this whole thing of sex. So to go back to Blue Chew, I know I got a little deep there. To go back to Blue Chew for just a second, and we'll go back to the video. Too much of sex is pushed into just pleasure. She said, honey, we're going to go all night. Baby, first of all, going all night. I, 
that is going to turn into an issue with this young man is going to explain later. That turns into an issue because once you um, take these pills or whatever and you learn to go all night, how are you ever not going to be able how are you ever going to be able to go back? Right. You're going to eventually have to take these things because it makes you maybe feel like you can go longer or it does make you feel like you can go longer and you feel like you can't live life without them. So let's continue in this video. These medications are being advertised as fun recreational activity, but it gets worse. If you dig deeper on their website, you start to see things like this, quote, start by completing a 20 question intake form about your health and medical history. In some states, a short video consultation might be required, which usually occurs immediately upon completing your questionnaire. Once you complete the questionnaire, a US based licensed medical provider will write your prescription if medically appropriate, end quote. That's somewhat contradictory, no? These are medications that require prescriptions being directly advertised as a recreational activity. It's right there in the branding. Where you might need a short video consultation, emphasis on might, but your prescription is filled instantly. That doesn't sound right. Anecdotally, social media is filled with testimonial from users who describe how easy the process is, even so far as to say that the doctors quite clearly want to prescribe the medication. You just have to give them enough reasons to say yes. Here's the thing. Erectile dysfunction in young men is an increasing phenomenon where emphasis should be placed on responsible diagnosis above all else. When determining the cause, treatment, and severity of ED prior to treatment, quote, a thorough physical examination should be performed on all new patients with emphasis on the cardiovascular, genital, endocrine, and neurologic systems, end quote. Suffice it to say, a 20-question online form without even a video call in most cases is not a thorough physical examination in the slightest. Now, some viewers might be wondering, why are you even covering this? It has nothing to do with the general channel content. And the answer is actually very, very simple. All right from here, he's going to go into his sponsorship. If you want to check it out, by the way, his sponsor was this gang, uh, these guys called Gadget Discovery Club. If you want to go check them out, um, they give out cool gadgets. I'm not sponsored, but this is his video. So I'm not going to, I'm going to let it get his, get his money in. So if you want to go there, go to his uh, channel. I'll put it down in the description. We can go from there. One last thing I want to talk about. Should be about right here-ish. And we'll get to it. But another thing I wanted to talk about just right quickly. As he was going on and talking to, talk about how they don't do a thorough examination. Remember, these pills are supposed to be for people who have ED, erectile dysfunction. But it is being shown as if it's a recreational drug for young men. Young men. That just goes to show you it doesn't even matter. And this is only going to cause further problems down the road. The, see, the, people who want to push this on young men are just the same men they want to. I can't help but say this, but to me, when you even see their commercials, you, it makes men want to go look at certain things, right? It's going to make you want to go into the adult entertainment videos. It's going to make you want to go that route because you're seeing... There's some of the things I haven't shown here, but there's some uh, there's a uh, commercial where they shows one of the girls doing the blue chew and she's not wearing a bra and she's just shaking, shaking her breast everywhere. It's like, what is that supposed to be pushing for? It just makes you think more and more about sex. And, expect, and if you're single and you're seeing this commercial, what are you going to want to go do? You probably want to go look at some kind of site. I don't understand why Blue Chew is pushing the sexual part of it so much instead of the it's supposed to medically help you. They're not making it seem that way. They're not making it seem like it's about having ED. It's about having sex and having fun and being able to go all night long. Uh, baby, all night long. All night. What y'all know about that? <laughs> all night. Most people who know that they have... People who are married, I'm going to talk to the married people because you know how I believe. But if people who are married who have intimacy with their wife, are you going all night long, all night? No, most of the time you're not. Let's be honest with ourselves. Most of the time it may, maybe it lasts an hour, maybe it lasts two, maybe it lasts five minutes. Sometimes it's just, baby, going all night is harder and harder. People who understand what it is to have intimacy like that, first of all, it is very tiring. I'm just being honest here. It's very tiring. Your back stiffens up. The older you get, the harder it gets. But your back stiffens up. Your legs get tight. You know what I mean? You get cramps. It's not what these dumb porn sites make it seem like. It, it, it's nothing like that. You know what I mean? It's not supposed to be this, I'll uh, go as hard as you can, as fast as you can the whole time. Man, that just wears you down, dog. That's why I'm saying it should be more about intimacy instead of what we see today. Anyway, I want um, him to talk about um, the psychological part. Here we go has increased by 165% over 
while the cost associated with buying the prescription, even while critical essentials like food and housing has increased dramatically in terms of cost, the cost of sildenafil has decreased by upwards of 80%. This was caused by a patent expiring, among other things, and generic versions appearing on the market from additional competitors, but the takeaway is that the number of people using sexual performance enhancing drugs recreationally, not for medically relevant reasons, has absolutely exploded. That's the scary part. Some drugs are chemically addictive and lead to physical dependence. Thankfully, that doesn't seem to be the case with something like sildenafil, from what we know, aka blue chew. But that's not the only form of danger. Blue chew may not be physically addictive, however, the compound can be psychologically addictive. When taken for medically appropriate reasons by someone with advanced age, for example, there is little sign of substantial downside. There are risks, of course, such as adverse reactions with other medication or heart conditions, but generally speaking, it's a safe treatment for a known ailment. However, when taken for recreational purposes, the user has a measurable risk of developing psychological dependence on the substance, which in turn causes them to suffer from the very same problem that the medication itself was originally intended to treat, if they don't have it. Psychological dependence isn't a joke, and in this case, it's monetized. Sell a drug for increased performance, if you will, accelerate the intake process as much as possible using telemedicine, advertise it directly to young men as a recreational activity, and sit back as they become psychologically dependent on something that they didn't even need in the first place. Thank you. Big Pharma 1. This, this, this man, go check him out. Once again, upper echelon. You can see the name of the video on the top left, Blue Chew, Societal Poison. Okay, that man makes some great videos. Amazing stuff goes really deep into all the research and stuff like that I love youtubers like that who do those kind of things because you got guys like me who just try to make it simpler and break it down And I'm just kind of you know, sometimes goofy sometimes serious I just like that we can all work together to help each other out man So I appreciate his video and once again, and I don't know why today my clip decides that it do not want to stay on baby Okay, sorry Got a little out of hand so, I mean, sometimes the tide drives me crazy. Not up here, down here. I know some people don't like it being around the neck. I'm used to that um, by now. I've been wearing ties for a while now. But, dang, man, that drives me crazy down there. Anyway, so the psychological effects that it can have, that's the thing I'm talking about. You will learn to, and I'm going to be honest with you. Let me tell you all a story. Back in the day, um, when I was still out there on the streets, you know what I'm saying? I used one of these things. It wasn't Blue Chew. I'm definitely not doing all that. But I definitely used something, and it does make a huge difference. Um, and I can tell you kind of how it works. Not trying to get too deep into it. But from what I noticed, what happened with me is that, one, you can hold uh, an erection a little bit longer uh, than normal. And once you climax, uh, for lack of better words, once you climax, you can get it back up pretty quickly. That's the thing that I noticed. You could do that, climax, and go right back to it. That's what I know. Now, if you guys have taken blue chew in your marriages, y'all can let me know if it's any different than that. Um, but that's what I understand these things do. That's how you can keep going. It's not that you won't climax. It's just that you'll get there, you'll climax, and you immediately get back up again. Or at least within the next five, ten minutes, you can go again. Um, I don't see, per, me personally, I don't see a, a real purpose in that. Um, and being able to do that all night long. But if you know, there's obviously gadgets out there that you could possibly use um, to satisfy your wife. If you're a person, you know, as men, as you know, sometimes if a man goes a few days without it, or maybe a week without it, two weeks without it, um, just circumstances, being busy at work, stuff like that, you may climax rather quickly, you know, and sometimes that's not enough to satisfy your wife. So you may use different gadgets and stuff like that to um, help her get to where she needs to get. I, I get that. Um, but I don't know if you should start taking this stuff only for that reason, just to be able to go hours and hours and hours. Because once again, like you said, psychologically, you're going to get into that. And then you're just going to start missing the purpose of having sex at all. The whole purpose now of sex will be just pleasure. Instead of being able to make a family, um, possibly have a kid and stuff like that and make it be very intimate. You just kind of get into that kind of the, that cornerfied world, that cornerfied world of going on, on and on and on and on and on and on. And it's just, I just don't know how else to explain it. I want some married people to really explain it down in the comments if they can. To explain that, yes, having intimacy is great, but it's not what the um, adult entertainment world makes it seem like. 
it's so much different when you're doing it with somebody you are in love with, but somebody you also are married to, somebody you see every single day, somebody you know the ins and out, you know the you know the the great features, you know the bad features, you know much more about this person. So it's so it's so much different than going to go get some girl at a party and taking her home and then go getting another girl another night, taking her. It's different because those become objects to you. Those become something to make you know, make you climax, that just becomes more of a masturbation tool compared to your wife who you don't want to treat like a masturbation tool. It's completely different. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. They think sex is sex and it's just not. Sex in marriage with one person for the rest of your life compared to hitting up every girl every other week or every other two weeks or hitting a girl every quarter, like Brittany Renner says, every quarter I do it. It doesn't matter. It's so much different. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about the Blue Chew. Me, personally, the way they advertise it and the way they get it out there, I don't agree with. They're making it seem like recreational sex is something you should try for. Going all night is something you should try for. And it doesn't even seem like, it's. yes, they make it seem like some of them are couples. But the fact that they showed that a couple got in an argument and that it's like, oh, I just took this blue pill, so let's have sex. So let's just not even talk about our problems. To me, I know that sounds a little a little. Like I'm really pushing over and seeing over it, but you have to do this with this stuff because the more you don't do this, the more young men they get confused. The more young men they just think, oh, this is what it's supposed to be. Oh, if I get in an argument with my girlfriend, then I just need to have sex, and it's just like that's so, so goofy. That's so goofy. Sex does not solve everything, people. I promise you that. Okay, relationships and marriages are hard, and sex is not the only way to get through it. And if that's how you think it's gonna happen, surely. Your relationship will end very quickly and badly. But that's my opinion. You let me know what you think. Goodbye.